Hello and welcome to this quick presentation uh, in which we're going to talk about how to manage uh, Kinefinity footage inside of uh, a simulate scratch. So when you shoot with the Kinefinity camera, you have the choice of shooting either Cineform, like move file, like here, or DNG files, like here, or Kinero W files. And you can see that all these folders contain also the sled.txt files. So how does it work in Scratch? Now, if you're not familiar with Scratch, you need to first create a project. Here we go, and add it. Next is going to be to create your profile, so you can create one if you don't have one already. Okay. Next is going to be my project settings and the media directory, which is basically telling Scratch where my footage is, just pointing to the parent folder. Okay, and I go back to session and enter. So now I have my construct and I'm going to load my footage. So no need to create a bin, just go and point wherever the footage is. There we go. Okay. And at this point, I have three folders. I could filter what I want to load. Here you have the supported formats, such as uh, CarRW. But let's keep all formats because what I want to do is load everything. And here I can see I have six thumbnails okay at the bottom i have my shots at the top i have my bitmap references so if i know place my playhead anywhere here at the beginning as it play just adjust the image i can now navigate to matrix let me zoom out a little bit there we go okay i can see first that my image is larger than my hd resolution Okay, so what I can do is go back to Construct, take my shot, navigate to Output, and if you look at here, it's HD. And I'm going to drop my image, and now my output is going to be 2880 on 1200. Right, this is an easy way, a quick way to get the proper resolution. Now, back into my player, if I look at my image, I can look at here at the right and switch to versions. I can compare the reference, the bitmap reference, with my Cineform shot, which obviously look different. But if I go to the next shots, which are the DNG one, I can see that the reference is correct. I mean, the, 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 the shot matches the bitmap reference. Same for the KRW, they are both the same. Okay, so if we look closer, we can see that here Scratch is using the look which was created on set and which is saved as the KC neutral cube, the one we see in the sled and in the folder. But I can switch to neutral, in that case it takes another cube, and flat, or direct to the camera roll. Okay, so I have, have this flexibility. Now, here it is the same on my DNG shot. Okay, but if I go to my Cineform shot, I don't have these options. Okay, because this information is not part of the header of the move file, but it's it's in the folder. So I can go to my source mapping here in, in config and load manually this KC neutral cube lab. Okay, and if I load it. Now, if I compare my Cineform shot with its reference, I can see that they are similar. So now my three shots have the same color. If I want to compare, I can pop up the film strip and switch to the overlay mode. Like here, I have a kind of white and drag and drop the other shots on the right part of the image and then compare each other. Okay, let's do the same with the third one. And here we go. So my three shots have very close color values, which is great. Okay. Now let's do something else. Let's add a new construct. And in that case, I'm going to load more clips multiple shots and I'm going to navigate to an external drive and my shots are right here here we go 
which I'm going to load all of these. This time I'm going to filter to carry our W because this is the only thing I want to load. Also multiple shot, depth of 10. So everything is uh, side by side. Here we go. So now on my shots. Okay, so I can see that there are quite different ratios. And what I can do is use Control A to select all my shots and navigate to the media browser. And here in the media browser, I can see that I have different kinds of resolution. I have 3K, 4K, 5K, and so on. Great. Now, the same way, if I go here at the top into the Shot tab, I can also adjust the look globally for all shots. So here it's set on the onset, I can also switch to neutral or whatever. Okay, this allows to do a batch modification of all these values. Okay, now if I enter the player, I can also see that my shots are a bit larger than my HD resolution. So we can use the config and set all and then fit width. So all my shots are now fitting into my HD resolution. That allows me directly from here to output dailies. Right? So if I go to my output, this is my output, which is 1920 on 1080. I can enter it and I'm going to add a burning. So I'm just speeding up the presentation here because uh, topics such as burnings and many others are of course covered more in detail in other tutorials. We have dozens of tutorials available both on our Vimeo channel but also on our Scratch web channel and a link is provided at the end of this video so please feel free to have a look to it. Now once done I can now add another output node which can be like here MXF file and MXF export okay or in that case going to be a DNX36 and then from my burning you can also add an Apple ProRes encoder here I'm on PC okay let's say 42LT right and add these to my process queue add this one to the process queue and this is my process queue if I start processing from now using either the start button or the timer or even select one and hit process it will be in any way a background processing okay so again this is a very quick quick uh, introduction to what you can do please feel free to navigate to our online tutorials they're all on the scratch web and i hope you enjoyed this presentation see you next time bye